Oh, the two buzzwords which are being used at the moment is intent and find a way. Now, both have their places, but both get misused a lot. Intent can be basically leaving a ball from a fast bowler on the front foot, and that I have showed good intent, or playing the ball on merit. If we play every ball on merit, that is intent enough. But a lot of people misconstrue that as you just go and whack it. So that is not the idea of intent. So it's really important that for youngsters, they understand what is intent as a batsman, what is intent as a bowler. If a bowler runs in and bowls the ball in the right area, he's showing good intent. Intent doesn't mean he has to bowl six variations. As a fielder, what is intent? How is that person walking in? How is that person attacking the ball? That means intent. So how we interpret the word intent is massive and that's why the playing experience of the coach comes into play. Similarly with finding a way. Finding a way is great when as a coach I can give the player three or four options provided the player is mature enough at that stage of skill development that he or she can explore the ways and find out which one works for them. I can't go and say find a way to a group of players who are not even sure of their basics. In that case, the maths teacher would come into the classroom, put a topic on the board, drink coffee and say find a way. It doesn't work that way. So it's really important those phrases are interpreted in the right way and used on the right group of players.